So Zach just told me there's a huge sale going on at Midwest Machinery. You know, I need a tractor, so let's get to it. I gotta drive back home to pick up a trailer. Who the heck? Who is going into Zach's yard? Oh man. I don't think they fit in. So the plan is to run home, grab a trailer, hopefully make it to check out these uh, for sale tractors. Huge sale going on. Look at this row hog here. Jim forgot to fold up. Oh, never mind. Never mind. All right, so run home, grab our trailer, and hopefully get to the sale in time, get a great deal, because I need a tractor to run a planter. It's plant season around here. We need a plant tractor. Yeah, I do have the big versatile. I do have a few uh, old but good tractors on the farm, but let's just, I don't know if they are really reliable enough. Might be uh, questionable. Good old versatile would be, but it's kind of big to be on a planter, to be honest. Speaking of that, I need a planter too. You know the best thing about trucks nowadays? They come with tailgates that automatically fold down. Oh, it's the little things. Little things in life. Slam that gate shut. It's time to roll out. I got this new trailer. I kind of like it, to be honest. This thing is huge. It's a three-axle dually trailer. I can probably get myself into trouble with this trailer. Let's just say it's probably pretty easy to overload it. Yeah, I know, I know. It's pretty usual for me to get myself in trouble, but, uh, hey, these are dirt roads. There's no biggie around here. Don't think the DOT is gonna uh, pull me over for a surprise way inspection on these roads. I know, famous last words, probably. Look at that. I keep seeing that thing around. I don't know what the heck is going on, but ooh, I see the tractors already. I have no idea where I'm going to end up parking this thing. Uh, I guess over here? Wow. Did you see how big that Ford was? Holy cow, is that a big tractor. Oh man, they buried this thing in here. Yep. Yeah, I think somebody got the hitch in the mud. Yep, got to support that jack with some pieces of wood or something. Uh-oh. All right, let's... Jeez, is that one big Parker grain tank there. Look at them floaters. Look at the floaters on this Ford. Man, I'm kind of upset I didn't end up purchasing this, uh, what, 9882 Ford or... I keep on saying Ford, New Holland. I know you guys are probably screaming at the screen right now. New Holland. Uh, but it does have an LED bar on top. Hmm. That, that's a good looking tractor right there. And look at all the tread on that thing. Yep, that'll get through the Minnesota mud. So will this thing. Yeah. Wonder... It would be nice if I could afford this old girl here. Kind of out of a price range, but maybe one day. Maybe one day we get lucky, you know, $11 corn. No? Yeah, probably not going to happen. Hey, it, it could. It could. The train's loud over there. All right, we got the stars and stripes here. 
got the old glory. You can tell the blue is a little faded, though. Whew, man, yeah. Blue's quite a bit faded, but it's still... I mean, it, it would look great as some lawn art. I mean, you can even uh, sit on some some glory there. That's probably like sacrilege. Because, you know, there's a lot of times in a tractor, you know, no one's around. So if you need to break wind, it's pretty normal inside a tractor cab when you're by yourself. I mean, that's kind of sacrilege to uh, break wind on a flag, isn't it? I think it's kind of disrespectful. Whew. Man, I envy Zach because John Deere loves him, Millennial Farmer, and they let him borrow all the nice stuff. I'm pretty sure he's going to get a series, an X series harvester for this uh, upcoming harvest. He's got to be. I mean, he's leading up to it at least. This thing is. Whew would not mind that. Zach is a lucky man. Lucky, lucky man. Alright, we got a 7R here. 250. Now, we want to get into cattle. This would be huge. Big for us. Especially the John Deere round baler. Got a swather right beside it. Both of these would be huge for us. This thing would be nice. 8370RT with a loader on it. You don't see that every day. This is uh, Minnesota ready here. Can't get to your uh, bale pile? Just put some tracks on it. Yep. Got a 8300 here. 8345 John Deere. This looks like the five headlight version. Got a ripper on the back there. And we got a 90... 9570R. Man, look at this big tillage machine. Reminds me of Jim's favorite piece of equipment. And of course, the spaceship here. The S790. Look at them tracks. I heard these tracks ain't exactly the greatest in cold weather. I don't know. I've been, uh, here's some theories out there. Larson Farms, they have some issues with the seals going out of the bearings. Uh, they, they're in the colder weather, so that might be the reason. Hot weather, I hear they work like a charm. Cold weather, not so much. A little leaking sieves there. Now here's a good little mower tractor for the misses. That's a good looking tractor. 80 or 6230 here. Yeah. Wouldn't be a bad tractor to put on a mower. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a line of equipment that we can afford and the one that they're trying to uh, sell for the season. So they have a pre planting season special going on. We got the 4960. Yep, this is the one of the great, the great ironclad right here, John Deere's. Uh, in my opinion, one of the best John Deere's made out of the assembly line. Yeah, look at this. Ah, starts up. Now this could be a serious option. Yep, I already got my GPS. You know, I'm a millennial, so I, I need my... I can't stare down there and look at a track the whole day, yeah. I, I need my auto steer. That's for sure. I'm definitely gonna have to inquire about that old girl there. We got the 4840 here. Now that is a tractor. How Farms works, this is their planning tractor or is it a 4640? One of this, it's a 40 series anyways. Oh yeah, a little bit cold blooded there. That's what I like to hear. Listen to this thing purr. Early spring, so it's a little bit chilly out still, so it, it's understandable if it's hard to start up. This one, it's got auto steer in it. It's 
got a quad range. Not prefer power shift, but it, it would work. It's got the globe on it already. Now, if I want to go old school, you know, I'm not going to have my AC is built into this thing. 4440. I mean, you if you need to turn up your air, you just have to plant faster. You don't usually see these with big fatties on the back. That would be an option there. And nothing says nostalgic like the 4440 in John Deere. Now here is a serious option. Field boss. Look at that big old cat has in there. Oh yeah. That's a big girl there. Field boss would be a serious... What does that say? White farm equipment. Okay, that's what the WFE means. Pretty clean inside. Wasn't I actually expecting this? Uh, thing. We're gonna have to get something to steer this because, uh, oh, uh, me, myself, and I ain't gonna be doing uh, steering all the time, looking down the roads. Even Daddy Cornstar doesn't do that stuff anymore. Do like the way these things look. I don't know why, but I always think they look one of the best looking tractors out there. Ooh. Now, this is an open station here, but it's a 4455 here. That would be a awesome tractor to be able to plant with. Yep, got the quad range. I kind of wanted a power shift, but uh starts up it's not cold-blooded there 4840 yeah it starts running now now uh, this would you would need to be able to plant faster for the air conditioning to work or you'd have to plant slower or if it's cold uh, spring morning you're definitely gonna pay for it out in the field uh, you don't usually see an auto steer on an open station like this, but I guess it is possible. Here is a serious option. I, I grew up driving one of these. Well, I, I drove it for a little while. We ended up trading it out, but three remotes. I was hoping they had a planner for sale. Doesn't appear that is the case. I was hoping to find a planner. You know, John Deere, they make some pretty good planners. Automatic doors, yep. They get you in here, that's for sure. The X9, yep. I, I'm telling you, man, you're going to see Zach with one of these here soon, and I'm not going to have it. I think I'm going to talk him into, uh, you know, being a hired hand, full-time harvester operator. I don't, I mean, I don't know if you, maybe if I say I'll do it for free, he'll let me drive it. All right, yep, just got done with my raping by the loan officer up there. Uh, yeah, don't feel secure after leaving that office. Uh, but we purchased two tractors. They're in our possession now. We got to load them up here on our trailer. This trailer is pretty impressive. See, uh, this thing folds down. Yep, see? Built-in ramp here. Love this trailer. Not for hire, huh? Okay. Not for a hired hand. Three axle. Built to rot. So we got a few tractors here. I'm sure you guys are wondering which two. But I think you probably have a pretty good idea by now. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. What, did you really think I wasn't going to show you which tractors I got? Okay, okay, here you go, here you go. Them are our new babies. I know I could have got newer, but I don't know. They are just... I can't stop looking at the oldies. Oldies and goodies. Thank you all for watching. If you want to play with all these mods and more, check out Apex Gaming. They make some sweet PCs. 
Use code squad. Get a great deal.